Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. And as you can see, we are doing another episode of the Recreate series. I wanna finish up these super cute notepads that my good friend Deb, hi Deb, had made and sent in a journal that she that she had created and for me and sent to me and I absolutely love it. And I want to finish my little notepads. Now, they're gonna be different, of course, because um, I cannot do anything in a straight line. I don't know how, so I don't try. <laughs> well, I kinda try, but I love this notepad so much. I think it is so adorable. And I'm just doing my recreate, my take on on how to put it together so I can use them in my journals. So when I left off with you on the last one, we had three of these made, and I believe it was this one, and this one, and one of those. I don't know which one anymore, but I know I had three of them done. Anyhow, I have since created a few more, and then I, these little tags, I decided to pull those out, and I'll use those on the front as of right now. Um, I'm Deb has some wonderful stitching in here and a super adorable decorative piece right here and fabric. And I did not pull any fabric before I stapled them. I forgot about that part. <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna be sewing, at least not today. I have them all stapled in there using my handy dandy stapler that I got from my bestie. Oh my gosh, my, my SS <laughs> muscle sister, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. And, um, and then I pulled out my paper pad today. This is the Paper Studio Sun Bleached Floral. It is a card stock. Yes, it says that right there on the middle. Um, and But I, I like these shades. I think, I, I think they'll be fine to make the backing of these. So as you can see, Deb had, she actually did some collaging and made this beautiful um, piece right here. I'm not going to be doing collaging. I want to, but I just don't have time. So I thought, what's the next best thing? I have tons of paper. I'm gonna use my cardstock, and, I'm, and this is one single-sided, but I'm going to put it this way, and then the backs of them um, may get a little bit sturdier piece later on. I don't know, but for now, this is great. Let's see. I have this gorgeous florally one. Let's find, let's find everybody a mate. So I like this one for that. And um, I know I have more than enough to do two of those. So this one, I like this one for this one. It's pretty. That one's a for sure. And this one, I mean, this is kind of purple. It's got that purple in there. So I want to find something that will pull that purple a little bit. This one I think is cute for either that one we just did or this one. I think it's the one we just did. I'm going to do that one here for this one. And then I have some blues and greens and yellows right here. This has got some pink in it. See, that would work good for that one too, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do possibly that one. We'll see. I have some more here. I mean, I don't have to just stick with my scraps. I can do whatever I want. It's my paper pad and there's nobody here to stop me. <laughs> so let's see what we have. Let's see. Um, well, see, this one has that pretty green in there. I do like that. I think that would be nice and it's got the the um, purples and the pinks and the yellows. It's got it all. So um, let's just, ooh, I like this one too. It's really, it's just really pretty and bright. Um, it doesn't have any green. I can fix that though. I can add green, but that's actually very nice. That one looks really pretty on there. I do like it. I'm gonna take it out because I think I'm gonna use this no matter what for something. So. We'll stick this one on there for a moment. And now am I covering up anybody? No, I think I just have these two left here. So it's, ooh, that one's, that could possibly work. Let's just pull it out. I mean, if nothing else, it'll be added into some scraps and give me more to play with later on. So. This actually would be pretty on this one too, but I think, I just don't know yet. So I'm gonna put those there like that for a minute. I have two more um, paper pads from the Paper Studio and they're both card stock. This one is called the Textile Florals um, and this one is called the Vintage Florals. So let, let's look in this one because I see there, there's blues and greens in it. And first let's see if I have any scrappy pieces in the front. I don't think that I do, but that's all right. And these blues might not be the right ones, I don't want that one. 
I don't really want that one. Oh, that one's kind of nice though, isn't it? Huh, whoops, my little tag went. Went awry. I mean, there's that one, that's pretty nice. It's kind of neutral, so that's a, that's a contender. Let's see, no, 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 whoops, did I pass one? No, I don't want to use the birds. I don't. No. Whoops. Uh, no, not the right green that I want to use. No. I think I'm going to pass. Let me let me look in the other one. The other one has blues and greens also. With, and it also has purples. Losing my little tickets there. Okay. So, I do have scraps in the front, so that's nice to see if they work with anything. Now this isn't really purpley. I really want more purple in there. I could go around this with a purple to bring in that purple if I need to. I also, okay, let's just see. Take that one out. What about this one? Is it wide enough? Um, I kind of wanted to stick out a little bit more. You can see how, how Deb has, it's a little bit more substantial on the outside and that's what I want. I mean, it's gonna be the thing that, in, that holds this together. So I just kind of want it to be a little bit bigger than my pad. That's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. And that's not the right blue. So those scraps, I'm gonna scrap those scraps. <laughs> and then this one, now this has some purple in it and it's already pulled out. I think this one would work for that. All right, and then we just have this one right here. Let's see. I don't even know if I'm all the way on camera. I've been really struggling with this lately. Oh, I have all of these torn out. Okay, so so that one might actually work too. That's kind of that's kind of cool too. It's got a lot of di different designs. It almost looks like it's. I think I'm gonna go with this one instead. Put that one back. This is this is more pinky, you see, and then this ha literally has the purple on it. So let's do that. see what else I have. All right, I had to go digging. I found a jelly print, uh, just a roll off paper that I had, or pull, not roll off, but a um, when I cleaned my plate, this is what I had pulled. And I think, I think that'll actually look pretty nice. Okay, so there we go. Now let's, now we have to get to cutting. <laughs> so let's just see how this is gonna work out here in my mess. I think I like this one for this one still, although I mean, there is another one there. I liked both of these for this one, and I liked, I think I like this one for this one. We don't know. I don't really know for sure. We'll see. I feel like this one has so much green in it that this might be nice on that one. Yep, there we go. So I like that one for that one, and this one I feel like would be pretty with that one. Okay, now, now I'm cooking. And this is a possibility for something. We don't know. We just don't know. But let's start with this one. And this is where I struggle, my friends, because this is nice and, and accurate. But what I, and I, so I'm going to use my paper cutter. Um, and I want to have this just outside of this a little bit. But I kind of like, see how I have this yellow and orange here? I really like that. And I want to keep some of these edges. I think they're kind of cool. So maybe I'll use my pencil. That's always a good start. Pencil, let's do the pencil. I know I want it to be, I want to cut right here. And I want it to be, maybe now a ruler would help because um, we're, we're, I just had my rulers out. I don't know what I did with them. Oh, here, we'll use this one. Um, how, how wide do I want this is the question here. So I measure, see this is the Tim Holtz one. This is where I get confused. I think this one starts from the very edge I could, because I have that, yeah, I think so. So let's go there and I want it to be just a little bit outside of it so you can see the color. I want it to be, and I'll ink and I can ink the edges I think. I'm gonna go to right here where it's four and a quarter. I'm just gonna cut that whole piece out. We'll practice with this one. I 
and then um, you can see right here how 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 Deb has hers folded over, and since I'm not collaging and this side's white, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually cut another sliver off and put it on the top to create that piece. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so let's get cutting. Um, maybe I'll cut this side first, because <laughs> it's tiny. I want more of that orange, so let's see. Let's see how this works. I don't think I had my paper in there straight, because look at that, it's crazy. I don't think I did. Well, that's gonna make this fun. See, I, even with the paper cutter, I <laughs> struggle with this part. Okay, um, was this paper already cut maybe? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay, there we go. I think I've got that squared up a little bit. Let's go this way and find my mark on my jelly print, which I think that's it there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, hello, I can look right here, four inches. I said it, well, I, uh, that's four. I wanted to go four to five, right? <gasps> okay, let's go over just a tiny bit. I didn't take into consideration my other marks, I guess, or my other cuts. I'm gonna go four to five just to keep it wider. I can always make it shorter, but I cannot make it bigger after I'm done cutting, right? So yeah, that's a little bit too big. But I think that piece would be fun up here. Okay, let's do that. Um, I think I'll just keep this paper cutter here for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna leave some of that white because I wanna get as much of that orange as possible. Where's my good eraser here? So, yep, that was the paper mark, all right. And I want a good solid inch, I think, off the top of this. I feel like, is an inch gonna be big enough for Sandra? I don't know. Maybe an inch and a half. I can always, like I said, make it smaller. You can't make it taller. You can make it smaller though. That might be too much. How about one and a quarter? Yeah, let's do one and a quarter. So see, that'll go like this. I like that. Or like that. Either way, either way is fine with me. And then I'm gonna take this bottom piece off here. And now the decision is, do I want that on that side or do I want it on the on the top side of it, top side of it, or the bottom side of it. And I think I'm gonna go with the bottom side of it. Perfect. I want it to be a little bit bigger than my paper here. I want it to come off that edge, that edge, and here. So I am a, there's, I know there's probably an easier way to do this, my friends, but please know, I am, I, I'm not great at measuring. I'm not great at, I'm not great at it. So I, Definitely take the long and hard way, but but that's just that's just how I that's how I rock and roll. <laughs> I guess I don't know. It's fine. I'm okay with it. If you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. Take that piece off and then we'll take this piece off here. The other ones I don't think are gonna be as, um, as um, wild cutting like that I'm doing because this one I'm trying to get specific spots on this jelly print. So I like that and that. Now how wide is this? I think it's still, I got it down to the four inches, just right under four inches, so that's, that's even better. And then I have to decide if I want that like that, which I kinda like, or I want it up like that. Oh, I kinda like that too. Um, all right, and then 
and we'll match that to that one. Get my beautiful protege there. Pro is it my protege? My proto prototype. My beautiful piece that Deb made. All right, let's see. Do that and and then this. So. I'm fine leaving it plain back here, but I'm thinking later on when I go to use these, if I don't glue it down and make it a pocket, like because it could be a pocket on a page, and then I can just, um, it's still a notepad or a, or a scrap pad. I mean, you, people can use it whatever, however they want. I've done different things. I've used, I've literally used them as like little scrap pads. And when I'm done tearing them off, using them in pieces um, throughout my journal, not this type, but similar to this, then as long as I still have this beautiful background, that's and that's important to me, then I can still decorate on that or write on that. So that's kind of a cool thing. And let's see. And what did I say? Was I gonna go up that way? I think so. Now what to do, because I wanna put brads in here and I don't wanna put a staple and brads. So. I've got my, well, I'm not, oh, I can put a mustache in there. I mustache you a question. Whoops, wrong. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I get confused on how those go. But anyway, let me get those out of there. <laughs> These are the ones that I get from the um, office area in any kind of store like Staples, Walmart, whatever. Probably even, I would guess, maybe, maybe the dollar stores or something. I don't know. But I'm going to stick those. I got those to use. Or I have all these colors of these bazillion different colors that I could use. Because I got so many of them. And they are color specific, so this might work on this one. I've got these giant white ones too. Those are kind of cute. Um, let's see. I just kind of throw everything in here. It's probably not the most easiest way to go through this. I kind of like using the colors though. There's a green one. I like that. Is that the right blue? No, it's not. So look at that little purpley one. That's kind of cute. Well, whatever. I think I'll I think I'm gonna go with the green ones because they, they match the best right now. And then I'm just gonna throw them all in there. Not that one. All right, so now I have to get this on here. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue it. I'm gonna use my um, Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to actually run it along this one because that one is larger. And then I'm just gonna eyeball it to get where I want it on here. I think that's fine because nothing on here, everything is perfectly imperfect, I think. And that's good. That's good for me. Whoops. And that's really perfectly imperfect. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there we go. And that part's done. And then I'm going to put this on here also. Now, this is where if I'm going to ink, I think it'd be easier to do my inking. I mean, I, even before this, it would have been probably easier, but that's okay. What are we going to ink it with? I think I'm going to do my um, my Distress Oxide Ground Espresso. Hopefully, I've been mixing my, all my sponges up, so I really don't know what color this is going to be. Oh, that's pretty with that rusty kind of a color there. Now on the ends, I definitely am one that usually likes to um, round my corners or do something different with them because I'm so rough with them. But also, I was wondering how this would look. 
give me a moment. With these little tiny ones. You remember these little ones? I have a hard time using them because I don't, they're so small. Well, wouldn't those be cute on the end of these little notepads? But would I have to put it on the top too? On the, the top also. And then if I have the little brads, then I don't think it's gonna look good, right? I think it's just too much. But if, I figure I should do either of these or the brads, you know. I kind of like them with this because of all the whole rusty. I like the metal look of it. Um, where the other, I have two more. Maybe I'll do one like this and then one like the other one. I think I have another one with green, but put those in there for a minute. And then I have a tab here that I was also going to put on all of these. Let's see if it's still gonna play out. So my papers that I'm using are a combination of my copy dye papers, scrapbooking papers from like specific companies like that you go to like those little um, card making class classes, you know, someone's selling like stamps and things like that. I also have um, some digi kit stuff in here from different people. These happen to be from a digi kit. So I don't know that I want that there. I think I really like this. I think I'd rather have a word there if I do these. Okay, let's do it. Let's put this on and then I'll put these little corners on. Yep, that's, that's, the, that's what I'm doing. And I don't think... I don't know. I don't, I'm thinking, but I, I, I don't know what I think. I'm trying to, I just want this to be on here. But I don't want to seal all the papers down, so I'm just going to put it at the top for right now and see how that works. There we go. Whoops. Um, I probably... So that is going to like, hmm, I didn't think this through. That's okay. I still like it. I still like that as a decorative piece and that's, and all this works. Okay. But I do need to get this down. I did not think that through. This part does have to go down or it's going to pop off. I'm going to leave this open because really I just created a little tuck spot there, I think. There we go. In retrospect, I think the way I'm doing this, I could have made this piece first and then I could have slipped this up in there, the notepad, because it's I think it's tight enough. But that's okay. You can also like punch a hole in there and then you know tie the notepad in there, make a little bow right here. It's just funny, like you know, as you're making things, you're like you see all these different things, like, oh, coulda, woulda, shoulda, but you but the thing with these crafts is that it's not a done deal. Like, shoulda, woulda, coulda, you still can go back. I have like, what, a, what did I have make seven of these? I got six more I can play with different things and do it different ways. So now I wanna put this metal on here, but I want it to stay. So I wanna put a little bit of glue that's gonna squeeze out, I'm sure. There and there on that one. And I'm gonna put this here. And you know what? I have no idea where my pliers are. Oh, yes I do. Jiminy Christmas, it's under my I have a stack of junk mail that I want to do. Um, I have a stack of fabric that I'm playing with. Oh, I found my ruler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's crazy. Um, I have so many different projects going at one time. I don't know if I'm coming or going. Now, what was I looking for? Oh, a pair of pliers, these. So these ones are I don't know much about jewelry making stuff. I just know that these are softer, a softer thing, so I don't really wreck my little things here, but I usually pinch too hard or anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There's probably a trick to doing this. I don't know what it is. If you know the trick, please share it in the comments because everybody wants to know. And if, even if you don't know what the, the trick is, if there is such a thing, whatever you do that makes your life easier putting these on, you know, just please put it in the comments. 
it may be easy for you and not for somebody else, but that's okay. I think it'll, it's just nice to know all the tips and tricks because um, there's just so many ways to do all these different things. And I love learning as much as my friends love learning and watching and trying. Oh my gosh. I should have made sure that was open. It looks like it was kind of squeezed shut a little bit. So I just kind of squeeze it a little bit, not super, super tight. I squeeze it and then they kind of split off the edge there. So then I hold it and I try to push it in there carefully. I have literally ripped the edges off my things, off my corner, like the paper part. So just keep that in mind and then kind of just squeeze it down. And that's why I put glue on there is in hopes that if, even if my little stuff doesn't work, I, they stay. That's super cute. I like it with this one. I might not like it with all of them though. I'm gonna do a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue there. And get that one on. I actually usually use a different glue that I know for sure it works with metal, but um, I don't have it handy. And I don't think this is gonna be something that's gonna be floating in someone's pocketbook. I think it's gonna just sit in the journal or it's gonna sit on a, like, I don't know. Oh, see how I, see how I almost ripped that off? So rough, I'm so rough. Whoa, spread that one out. Come on, keep it together. Quit being spready. Okay, you can see. See, I am no expert, but I still like it. <laughs> I like it better if it would just stay down there. Some of them stay better. I, I think what it is is I see how I pinched the middle part right there too tight. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to come back from that. And I think if I keep messing with it like I am, I'm gonna end up ripping that whole piece off. So there, but there it sits, we're done. And some people can have strength and they can actually pinch these with their hands. Um, my strength is just really going fast. Okay. okay, so this time I'm trying to pinch just the sides here until I get those in and then just kind of press it down. There's a sure a bazillion different ways to do that, but that's so cute. I love it. And even without a label on this one is fine. It doesn't mean I won't ever have one. I just don't think that matches the, the look that I'm going for, which is fine. I was one label short anyways. Okay. And I could put a word or a saying there, a stamp. Um, See if there's anything right here. Um, okay, let's just cut this. Give it to where's my scissors? My Debbie snips here. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. We've got to get some inking on this a little bit, probably. Oops, well that's super fragile. Super duper fragile, but I don't like it. The 
see if there's anything in here for like a little backdrop of it. It's got that, some of that gold, but it's kind of small. Kind of small. Oh, yeah, let me see. It's, this has got bird cages, but I don't know. That's kind of big. This is one of those things where I like to punch and cut things out, but then I don't ever use them. They're so tiny. So, oh, that's cute. But that's not what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know. Not it. I'm getting closer, maybe. I keep wanting to use one of these flowers, but they're side. But I'd have to do it sideways, I think. But no, oh, do I? Do I have to do it sideways? This isn't the right one, I don't think. This is pretty dark coming off, but I think I was actually using that on my um, ground espresso that's not. I mean, that's kind of cute too, so that's a possibility. Here's something that's blue. And just layering it up, you know. Um, I'm not going to get many done if I work this slow, though. Let's see. All right, let's just go with it. Let's just go with that. I'm gonna add yellow into this because why not? I think it's, there's some of that yellow there. It's kind of orangey though, more. Maybe I'll just darken this up a little bit. I don't know, okay. Put that there, all right, so. And I think I can just use my art glitter glue. This is literally paper on paper, so let's do that. Um, I'll put that there like that, making sure it's in both the colors, not covering those up completely, going off the edge since I'm doing all this mixy match stuff. I do like that, but I don't want those white edges. Okay. Now which way do I want this? Do I want it like that? No. I don't, I don't know. I want it like that. Yeah, I want it like that. Just kind of on there. And then this one can go right here. It's a little piece of this um, cloth right here, maybe. It's okay. Okay, maybe I don't want that cloth. It's too fuzzy. Let's clean it up. Still too, is it too much? I don't know if I need it. I think I'm going crazy now. No, that's fine, I like it. It's either that way or that way. See, I feel like it just needs a little something there. That's gonna be it. So we're gonna go just like that. We'll stick this on like that. And then we'll put this on here. The beautiful things, there we go. All right. This is not what I started out to do at all. I just evolved. Okay. But I like it. I think it's so cute. I love that. I could, That would be so much fun to have. So now the thing to do is remembering to sign my stuff because I'll forget what I did, when I did it, and all that good stuff. So this is going to be, um, I'm just going to sign my name. And what is it? It's April 2024. And I want to put what I did. This is a re 
create from my friend, F-R-I-E-N, Deb. Oh my gosh, am I spelling your name right? I think so. Um, I can always fix it later on if I if need to, if it need be. So see, then I have that for my stuff, and I can keep this one for a May. All right, now I just need to get on to the other one. So I'll be right back while I clean up my mess and figure out and get some pieces um, prepared. All right, I got the papers cut down um, for four of them. Then I have two more over there that I'm going to do with you because I'm going to show you kind of. Uh, what I did. So um, I've got everything cut down. <laughs> this one and this one. I just made my cut straight. I just lay these on there and then I did them. And then we're going to attach those in just a moment. This one right here, that scrap paper had already had a torn edge. And I know I said I didn't, well, I think I said I didn't want to do torn edges, but I liked it. So I'm going to, so what I did is I used it, this one for that. And I also tore the top part. So let's, let's do, let's do the cutting which I can show you how I did it, me and my wild ways. Um, I know that I want a quarter of an inch for the top. No, sorry, one and a quarter inch for the top for that piece right there. So I'm gonna cut that at one and a quarter, which let me tell you, this was so much easier to cut. I literally just cut a four inch strip. It, was, it did well for all of them and that's the width of them. So I just cut all my papers to a quarter inch and then I have this long strip and I have more to play with if I need it. So now I have my, this will be my top piece and then my little label that'll go with it. So that's great. And then the, none of them are the same length. They, I mean, you, you can do it that way, but what I did is I put it on here, my little notepad, I put it on, my, on there. And then I just decided where I wanted that to be. Where, how far, I just want to, I just want a sliver of it. I don't need a whole giant piece, right? Yeah. So just in there and then that's it. And then I have this piece over here for scrap, which I did with the other ones. So now that one's ready. Now this one right here, what I did, because it was already torn, I have to be careful. So what I, I know I need to have at least that much space at the bottom. So as long as I know that, I can cut to the top here or I can cut a little bit of extra and tear and hope for the best, which is what I actually did on the first one. This one, I'm gonna do it a little bit more smarter. I'm gonna go all the way to the edge to give myself some space there, knowing that I have, let me see if I'm on the camera. So I know I have a little bit down here. If I want a little bit more, I know I have plenty to play with here so I can scooch it down a tad, which I think I'm gonna do right about there. Okay. I'll take that out so I don't accidentally do. Actually, I'm going to give myself a tiny bit more. There we go. Now I have that piece and I have this piece. And then all I want to do is I want this white edge. So I have to tear up. I have to tear this, the, my scrappy piece up so that I get that white. So if I tear, if I tear it the other way, it'll be, you know, if I tear it down anyways, I want to tear it up. Literally. <laughs> and I'm just going to go slow and see how do I like that? Is it small enough um, for me? Could probably take a little bit more off and that's why I wanted to have a little bit more to work with so I can have this. All right, there we go. And then I have that torn edge both on the top and the bottom and I really like that. I'm gonna toss those two pieces away. I think I'm done with that for a minute. And then I have my, I have some inks right here. Oops, and some glue. Let's see. And this is kind of purpley. This um, stamp abilities. And I believe this came from Mitch. So thank you, Mitch. I also have this purple here. I'm gonna see what I like better. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, not on this one, but I'm gonna just wanna see. So I like that one. It's for the purple one in here. There's a purple one in here, here it is. And I want it to be really purpley, so let me see which one will work. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the dust, Dusty Concord. It's more of a grapey, which is which that is. And this is a really beautiful, like a pinkish purple, it's lavender, so yeah, pinky purple. <laughs> right up my alley. 
All right, so that goes with that one. This goes with this one. Um, do I have a sponge handy? No, but that's okay. All I'm gonna do is just go around the edges of this like that. Just bring in some more of that purple in. So like that, I think that's, I think that's great. And then take that one off for a minute. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Um, Um, I think I'm also going to trim these corners down because I'm not going to put those metal things on everything. Where's my little, where's my little snippity snips? Um, I think I'm going to use this one, this one right here. Yes. And this is the Distress Ink. This is not, this is not an oxide. I believe it is not an oxide. Nope, it is just distress um, archival ink. Oh my gosh, I really need to get the ones I want. But eventually, I mean, at this point in time, I think I'll probably even forget that I have them if I do it. So let's get this there and this there. I don't feel like I need to ink any of the others. I think they're super cute. I can do stamping, adding things later on. And then I do have this piece, which maybe Go around the edges here. Oh, it's early for my husband to be up, but he's up and he needs a haircut this morning. So I need to finish this up. Get him a haircut and then, you, I'm not sure when you're gonna see this video, but I'm actually filming it on Saturday. I believe it's the 12th or the 13th. So of April and we have it's a citywide yard sale today. I'm going to go to that and we're going to go do the book sale. So there's a big book sale. So I need to get this going on and I need to make sure he's fed and my husband, make sure that he's fed and happy and he'll be super happy with a haircut. All right, let me move this stuff up. And now I'm going to, I'll probably do some inking on the edges of these and then I'm going to do some gluing. I'm going to get really quiet so I can get it done. Um, so I'm going to fast forward quite a bit of this piece right here. All right, let's get let's get this part. Well, that's a lot. Let's get this party started. <laughs> All right, I decided right here on this, I can see that top and I probably can on the other one also, but with those little brackets inside, it's not bothering me at the moment. Maybe it will later on, I don't know, but right now it's not and I could, it's not and I can always just ink that as a lot and just make it really super dark. And I think that just, that fixes that part for me there. But for this one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this um, gauzy, cheesy cloth, fabric-y, whatever. I'm not really sure what this is, but it is fun to play with. That is the truth. Sometimes. Sometimes it's crazy, but right now it's fun. Let's just clean it up a little bit right there. And then I'm just going to, I'm actually going to just put it right at the very tip here. And then right here on this side, there's not a lot of this to work with, so I just want it to go over. Basically, it's kind of, it's almost like a binding, I guess, so to speak, in a way. But it's gonna go all the way over the top here, just like that. I don't, I'm just kind of winging it here, my friends. So maybe I would have liked it better to not tap onto the back of it, but I think it's okay. I'm just kind of doing it messy. There we go. It's another reason why I like to use the Fabri-Tac because it gives me some play time here. and I'm liking the way it dries with the fabrics more than I'm liking the way the art glitter does. So, art glitter glue does, so there. I like that. And then this is a little, this is a lightweight cardstock that I have these little labels on and I think 
I'm just gonna put it on just like that. I'm just gonna just put it on there like this. I don't know that I'm gonna use brads. Um, I just don't know. I don't think I am. So I'm just gonna put some on the top here like that and put this this way because I, I wanted it to go that way, but that's all right. Put that there. Yep, he's making his coffee. That means I have a little bit of time. <laughs> And I'm just gonna do that and then that's done enough until I'm ready to put it together. So I'm gonna continue putting these together. Okay, I also realized right here, if I pull my pad down just a tiny bit, I can pinch these two pieces of cardstock together at the top with the glue, and that will help me get a much better seam, so to speak, there. Um, someone's probably already figured that out, and I may already even see that in the comments. <laughs> and thank you if you have already done that. I appreciate it. Um, you know, um, it's always a work in progress, always. Always a thought in progress. See, so now you can see, well, I don't, didn't hold it down very well, but let me show you the difference here. They're both, and then they both actually look pretty cool. I like them both. So there you go.
All right, I'm finished. So what do you think, my friends? I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close-up of each one. So this one, I just put the tab right there and I just put some trim up there. I like that, that's so cute. I love the way that came out, whoops. <laughs> This was the last one that I did, and I just was grabbing stuff out of my little snippet trims um, drawer there. And I mean, there's a rough edge there. I think it's pretty just the way it is. Added the tab right here again as well, and inked around that. I tried to do some di just some different variations because you know I get I want them different. I think I might go back and put some purple ink on this right here because I I think actually let me just do it with you. Would you like to see it? I think it needs it. So. Um, just a little bit. Yeah, I think that does the trick. So, I mean, it's pretty just the way it is. I like that. And I, I do, I do like pulling that over to the bottom. Um, it might, I don't know, it doesn't feel too thick. So that's good. And then this one right here. I love this. I love that those, you can see those people right through that little piece of paper there. And then just did that. And you can see on the edges, I did different edges on them. Um, at the bottoms. So there's the first one that we did together. And then there's this one. This one doesn't have a tab. I haven't decided if I want to put one on it or not, or just save a plain one. This may be like the one that I put in my um, journal to re my re um, oh my gosh, ephemera that I like <laughs> to do. Um, and then this one was kind of fun. I was like thinking, you know, just be, I love the colors, but this could be one of my fun and funky ones. I love all the little pieces there. And I love being able to use all the parts and pieces from my friends that send me stuff. So thank you so much. And this is what we were working off of. And this is absolutely stunning and beautiful. I love it so much. I love every bit of this. Now I need to get it back into its journal. And I will see, we will continue this recreate series. I'm just going to keep doing it. I have lots of things to recreate for my friends here. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me and sending me beautiful things that I can recreate. I really love that. I will see you on the next video. Enjoy all your moments. Bye.